The moment we've all been waiting for has finally arrived. Cedar Point made their announcement today, showing us what Dragster will look like when it reopens next year, as well as what its new name is, Top Thrill 2. Let's take a deep dive into this thing as I give my initial thoughts on this revamp. Welcome to Eject to Rare Time, and this is my analysis of Top Thrill 2. Before we get into it, be sure you subscribe to the channel so you don't miss any future content. And of course, make sure you give this video a like as that will really help against the YouTube algorithm. Let's start by going over some of these stats. So as we were all coming to expect, this new ride experience is going to feature a multi-pass launch or swing launch, similar to what we've seen on coasters like Pantheon or the Skyrocket 2 clones. The spike is set to be 420 feet tall, which is the exact same height as the main top hat. And unlike some of the concept animations we're predicting, the spike is going to be straight up rather than a spiral. We also know how fast each launch is going to be. The first launch will get you up to 74 miles per hour, the backwards launch will get you up to 101 as you fly up the spike, and finally, the top speed of 120 will get the train up and over the top hat. I can't say I like the fact that they're calling the first launch a rollback. The whole excitement of getting a rollback on the original Dragster came from making it all the way to the top, but here it doesn't even look like you're getting all the way close to vertical at all. Also, no airtime hump during the launch, and while this would have been a neat element to add, I think they chose not to simply because they were thinking more realistically towards the general theme of the coaster. Drag racers run on straight tracks after all. Now let's take a look at some of the other things that they have changed, starting with the name. While I feel like it's kind of fitting being that there are now two 420 foot elements on this coaster, I personally feel like they could have done so much better than Top Thrill 2. For weeks, we were seeing hints about a new formula for racing, and I think they should have added racing or formula to the name in some way, shape, or form. Granted, formula anything could have come a little too close to the name of the fastest coaster in the world, Formula Rosa at Abu Dhabi. But we all know Cedar Point has often been pretty creative with their names. I mean, look at Val Raven, Gatekeeper, and Steel Vengeance. I just think there was a missed opportunity here to give it a new name that really stood out. Another new feature is the paint job. The original Dragster featured a red and white striped track with yellow supports, while this new version is going to feature a primarily white track and will still feature the red stripes towards the top of both the highest points. The supports are a darker gray now, which to me will help to maintain that eye-catching appearance from a distance. The trains also look great. They're said to be lighter than the originals, but they still maintain some similar features of the originals, including the elongated zero car to make the train look like a drag racer, and the cars are sideless, which helps to maintain the high thrill level. They also will still feature only a lap bar, so that's a huge plus. One of the most unique and interesting new aspects of this coaster is the entry plaza. Gone are the full-size set of bleachers, and in their place are what appears to be a large set of concrete steps for viewing the coaster as it launches by. On one side it features the new logo, which I actually really like, and before making your way to the queue, you walk through a large ring similar to the shape of those keychains they were giving out earlier this summer. The entrance and queue are in the same place as they were previously, which I believe means that Cedar Point is confident that the 2021 incident was a one-time thing and will never happen again. But luckily, it appears that they will be adding extra canopies to cover more of the queue, which may help to ease the minds of those who might be nervous waiting in line. Being someone who never got the opportunity to experience the original version of Dragster, I think that this is going to be just as, if not even more exciting than the original. The swing launch will be a lot of fun to experience, as we haven't seen one as massive as this before. Being that you'll be able to see it from virtually everywhere in the park, it will be just as exciting to watch as it will be to ride. I know a lot of people out there have been having doubts about this coaster, since it is being redone by Zamperla rather than the original manufacturer Intamin. This is indeed a very ambitious project, considering that Zamperla hasn't built or worked on any coasters this large before, so it poses a challenge. But I personally think that Zamperla is working on something pretty impressive for us. They've been at this project for a good length of time now, and they are doing everything they can to help Cedar Point bring a park icon back while making all of the necessary improvements to make it more reliable than it has ever been. 
Once it gets going, it will definitely be the huge crowd pleaser that it once was. That's going to do it for this video. Let me know in the comments what your thoughts are on Top Thrill 2. Thank you so much for watching. Please don't forget to like the video and subscribe to the channel so you don't miss any future content.